What is up, fans of Tears of the Kingdom? I am Bright Nelson from RPG Rank, and if you enjoy Tears of the Kingdom, consider checking out some videos after this. All right, so we're ranking the Zonai devices in this video. This is going to be super fun, and I feel like as I go, I'm going to be shuffling them around all over the place because these are all very interesting um, devices, and I love them. If you enjoy videos about Tears of the Kingdom, I've got some more that you can check out after this video. Enemies, bosses, runes ranking, shrines ranking to come, all that stuff. But anyway, let's get into this because that's what you came for, the Zonai device tier list. Alright, so we are going to just start with whatever the heck it's going to give us. And this is going to be weird because these are all such different, cool, unique devices. And it's going to be fun to rank them. I've been really excited for this video. So let's get right into it. So Portable Pop. I feel like it kind of sucks, but I kind of love it at the same time. Like once you've got the travel dial and you can just place it down, teleport to a cooking pot, and then come back. But like literally, I'll be right in front of a boss fight and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I don't have any food. And then I'll just bring out like three portable pots and I can cook to my heart's content. Like it's not that hard to get Zonai devices in this game. I mean Zonai charges to get Zonai devices in this game. Just get a bunch of portable pots and they're very convenient like i'd rather not watch the loading screens and stuff i like the portable pots are they good no but are they kind of fun yeah i'm gonna put in b tier i don't see why it would be any higher but i don't see why it'd be any lower either so yeah all right next is gonna be is that a flame emitter i'm pretty dang sure that's a flame emitter it's kind of hard to tell because there are yeah pretty sure anyway sorry flame emitter i'm gonna give it a solid b as well a I'm gonna give it A. It's very solid. Don't equip it on your shield though because that's stupid. It'll waste your shield's durability and it'll break. Just hold it with Ultra Hand or something if you wanna do it. Or um, what's really cool is yeah, you can get the. I'm not a big fan of creating the AI like builds where you like they shoot fire and stuff because I feel like I'll walk into the fire and I'm not really good at doing that type of thing. But I still like the flame emitter a lot. I love putting it on Mineru's hands. I love, let's see what else do I love with this. Oh, I love using the hot air balloon with this, even though I kind of hate the hot air balloon. But like there are a lot of utilities for the flame emitter. Um, a lot of times where I was using it, one of the Zonai devices I use the most, just a lot of utility in combat, lots of, um, if you ever just need some flames, like for anything, like you can use it to burn some grass so you can get an updraft, or just lots of cool, th I mean, I guess you could just use a fan there, but like, Lots of things I love about the flame emitter. Very solid, very good. Next gonna be the wings. This is weird to rank because I mean there's a lot of things you can do with the wings. You can float from island to island, you can use it in mid-air, which is also awesome um, to get extra distance as you're flying around. You can attach it to your shield to get an extra high shield surf jump um, that can actually give you bullet time for a little bit. Um, like there are a lot of cool things you can do with the wings. Um, I'm going to put them in A tier above the flame emitter. I don't think they're S or S plus tier because most things you can do with the wings, you can do better with other Zonai devices. Um, I'm not, yeah, I just, the wings are cool. I love the wings. They're great on the Great Sky Island. There are a lot of times, but like hover bikes can do things better. Like, I don't know. There are a lot of different builds you can use that do things more uniquely than the wings ever will. So not my favorite, but they're still cool. Um, also, just so you know, I'm not one of the people who loves, like I said earlier, I'm not going to rank the things that, um, like AI, like the things that like kill enemies, like the homing cart, not really the biggest fan, so don't hate me, I know it's good, this is my tier list though, so apologize in advance, but yeah, anyway, next is going to be the fan S tier for me. I love this thing. It can get you across water easily. You can create the hover bike with it, with the steering stick and two fans. Get huge grounds. You can create updrafts. You can do so much with the fan. I feel like it's one of the most versatile. I don't want to put it in S plus tier because I'm not going to be crazy like that. But it's really good. I love the fan. It's one of my favorites. Sorry, my chair is making weird noises. Um, but yeah, I love the fan. It's great. Um, yeah awesome all right hot air balloon easy d tier for me i liked it at first until i figured out about the hover bike and i was like what is the point of this stupidly slow hot air balloon the only thing is it, it fulfills that dumb ega quest or whatever i don't know and it's cool in the one shrine that you have to use it but it sucks so yeah not like f tier like it still has uses but I'm not using hot air balloons anymore all right um batteries Batteries are good for the beginning of the game, but I feel like there's a point where you just have so many crystallized charges that your own batteries are enough. 
I'll put battery in A tier again. I'm not... Mm, I don't know. Actually, I'll put it in S tier just because they're so good early in the game. Um, especially if you just find ones where you can just get over and over get batteries. I don't think they're amazing or anything because you eventually just get crystallized charges and you can have your own battery counts, especially once you start getting blue batteries. I mean, that's really late in the game. But like, honestly, not the biggest fan of battery, but I understand that it's absolutely awesome. So yeah. Uh, the shock emitter, C tier. I don't know. It's so short range. That's the thing about it. I don't see... I like... If you put it on a homing cart, maybe, but there are way better ways to shock people. Just throwing a shock fruit at someone is more effective. I still think it's nice to put on, like, Mineru's hands or anything, but, like, uh, I don't know. I don't really like this thing. It's kind of stupid. All right, big battery. I'm going to put in B tier. You're probably going to be like, what? You just put the small battery, but here's the reason. Honestly, I'm going to put it behind the portable pop. They are hard to find, and they annoy me so much when I get... A cool shrine. I do all this stuff and all I get is a big battery. I have, by the time I get all these dumb big batteries and chest, I have enough batteries to sustain myself. And they're much, they're the only Zonai device that you can't get through the Zonai dispensers. The only way you can get them is once you've maxed out your batteries, you can buy them with crystallized charges. And they're not even that cheap. They're kind of annoying. Like big batteries are cool. But I feel like by the time you actually get a lot of them, you don't really need them anymore. And I feel like they're just kind of B tier. Because, like, batteries are so much easier to get. And they're more useful early game and stuff. So, I don't know. Big batteries, in theory, could be, like, S+. Plus, but, I don't know. They're just not good enough, in my opinion. Uh, big wheels. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go top A tier, the big wheels. I don't personally like them that much. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about me and how I traverse this game, but some people like go on the big wheels and like ride across the landscape. I just teleport to a tower, shoot up to the sky, find a shrine, and dive from the sky to the nearest landmarks. I play kind of boring. I'm sorry, guys. But also, like big wheels you can use to spin and like do the crazy stuff with fire and stuff. Like, there are a lot of applications for the big wheel. You can get across a lot of terrain and stuff. It's just not really for me. I'm not the biggest fan of the big wheels, but they're awesome. So, they're good, but not my favorite. All right. Cannon. Hmm. This one's interesting. Cannon, I'm going to put... Do I put an S+. Plus? I'm going to have to put an S+. Plus. I really love the cannon. Mostly because it can save a lot of bomb flowers for blowing things up. I just really like it. Putting on Mineru is great. Once you have a lot of... It's kind of dumb early in the game when you don't have that much battery. But later in the game can throw enemies all over the place like who needs the freaking yiga abilities when you can just fly like you can send the goblins flying all over the place completely turn the tide of battle with the cannons i love them i understand that there are better devices but i love the cannons okay you're blowing stuff up like come on it's a cannon okay anyway um carts Ugh, d tier mm, nope not d tier sorry i forget you can attach it to your shield actually change my mind i'm gonna put top of b tier carts on hylian shield i like it i honestly like it it makes shield surfing such a vibe i love it otherwise carts are bad but since i love attaching to my good old hylian shield i will put carts in b tier it's fun i have a lot of uses for it also same with the sled but to a worse degree i'm gonna put sled in c tier i just feel like it's a little eh, but it's better on water i don't know i'll put them next to each other i'm just gonna do that with b tier they're not my favorite, but they're still good. They're still good. Like, you can find good uses for them. So, yeah. um, These ones, I'm going to put in... I'm going to admit, like, they're good. I'm going to put them in... Oh, frick. That's not deserve that. Um, I'm going to put them in top of A tier. They're not really for me. So, I'm not going to... I'm going to be honest. They're not my favorite. But, um, they are very good. They're just not my thing. Do they deserve to be higher? Probably, but in my opinion, I just don't like them that much. So, Frost Emitter is an easy S tier for me. I love Frost Emitter. It's the Flame Emitter is great, but the Frost Emitter has a much more battle application. Like with I put Mineru Frost Emitter, and it just changes the tide of battle. It's just freezing enemies all the time, and I just beat them up. It's so easy. When I accidentally get caught in the blast, it's annoying. But I love Frost Emitters. Fire just doesn't do as much as Frost in this game. Like be honest don't lie to yourself putting someone on fire is not as good as freezing someone getting those critical hits in awesome just great so yeah 
Okay, this is going to be the most biased freaking pick on this list. I'm putting Hoverstones in S+. Plus. You're probably going to be like, what in the stupid heck? You're an idiot. But the amount of things you can do with the Hoverstone is more than you think. You can cheese every puzzle of the Construct Factory. You can cheese all the puzzles in the Fire Temple. Like, you can cheese all the stuff. I know it's not the best thing, but I was kind of just like, kind of done trying to figure out those dumb railroad puzzles and stuff. And I just found a lot more applications for the Hoverstone than I ever thought. This is the most biased pick on this list. This is the stupidest thing I'm putting, but I love Hoverstones. There's something cool about being able to just hover, ascend, get another one, and you can just like make an endless staircase. I don't know. This just speaks to me in a way that doesn't make any sense, but I love it. Hoverstones are elite. Okay. Hydrants, honestly, are a little overhated. I mean, they're still C tier. I'm going to put it above the shock emitter, honestly, though. Why? There's one reason. I hope that's... The, wait. Am I an idiot? That might be the beam emitter. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Why do I always do this? I always get something wrong, and it's hilariously bad. I don't know. Whichever one is the shock emitter, I think that this is the, I think that's the shock emitter. The beam emitter, I'm just going to talk about this really fast. I don't know about the hydrants. Um, beam emitter, I'm going to give a solid S tier. Honestly, people doing insane things with the beam emitter. Like, it's not my favorite thing on the planet, but you can do some crazy shiz with the beam emitter. So I'm going to put that there. Anyway, back to the hydrant. Muck to rock fight, amazing. Pre... Um... Lanyaru, I don't pronounce that word right. Forgive me. Um, but before you do the whole water temple, it's nice to clear up the goop and stuff. But I don't know. Killing Makta rocks is basically the only reason for this, or if you're traversing over lava. Honestly, yeah, I'm just going to keep it here. I feel like there are different things. Because you can use Sidon's ability, or you can throw Choo Choo Jelly to do the same things. But. I still kind of like the hydrant more than a lot of people do, to be honest. Um, oh, I still feel bad for uh, changing up those emitters, but it's all good. All right, my least favorite in the game. F tier for the stupid light. Just attach anything the light can do, you can do by attaching one bright bloom seed. You get, I had like 900 bright bloom seeds by the end of the game. Like, they're so easy to find. You don't need a light. If there was lower than F tier, I could make one. The gap between even the hot air balloon and the light is crazy. The fact some people say the light is worse than the hydrant makes me laugh because the light is complete garbage. The fact it's even in the game makes me laugh. It's so bad. Oh, all right. Let's move on. The mirror, I'm going to put in C tier. Honestly, this can be used to good effect. Good for puzzles, obviously. But if you put on your shield in daytime, you can actually blind enemies, which is not the worst thing ever. It's actually kind of nice, kind of cool. Um, not that bad. There are worse things... Like, it's kind of cool. It's fun. Obviously, like, freezing enemies is always going to be nicer, but, like, I don't know. Blinding enemies is actually not that bad. All right. I'm saving that one. Small wheels. I don't know. Put them bottom of B tier. I don't like the small wheels. I never really found a use for them. But, again, I'm the type of guy who was just gliding around. I was more in the sky, gliding around through the sky with hover bikes and riding my horses and stuff over really building these things with the wheels i just wasn't really interested in that type of thing so i didn't really get much use out of the small wheels but i'm sure lots of people did so they're fine uh springs ah uh, i'm indifferent with springs a lot of people love them but i feel like they're just worse rockets for me like the boingy boingy glitches are fun but i'm just gonna put them in b tier top of b tier like, they're nice to attach your shield. I feel like saving rockets for better things is nice. But I never really found anything with a spring that was that special. Um, not really my favorite. I don't know. Not not the best thing ever. But they were cool. They were cool. So, yeah. Um, they were good. Nice. for I used them for a lot of boss fights, but that was about it. All right. The stabilizer. Easily the weirdest zone eye device, in my opinion. I don't really know how to use this thing. I'm going to put a top seat here. People can do insane things with the builds, I'm telling you, with the stabilizer. I'm not really that type of person, though. I have never found the use for the stabilizer outside of the shrine. I get that it's awesome, but I'm going to put it in C tier for how I play. So, yeah. Also, same with the stake. I never really use this thing. Actually, I want to put this lower. I want to put this, hmm. This is the same type of thing. It's just like building different stuff. I'll keep it there. Um, 
people use the stake to great effect and it's cool that it can like go through things i just never really found a great use for this like i know a lot of people do but it wasn't really my thing all i used it for really was like the baseball shrine i don't know it's cool but kind of mid all right steering stick s plus here without this you wouldn't even be able to build all this crazy stuff because you wouldn't even have control over your devices just think about that that's weird like i don't even understand like the steering stick is objectively the best zonai device in the game no question because if you want to make a cool zonai thing you need a steering stick so yeah uh time bomb i have to go d tier honestly i won't go d tier at first, I was trying to get into this. I was trying to get into the time bomb. I was trying to be like, this is cool. It's like remote bombs. No, it will never replace remote bombs. And it will never replace bomb flowers. It just kind of sucks. There were, I just, the only reason I ever used this was to save bomb flowers for greater things than blowing up walls. But once I got Unobo, or the cannon does better than the time bomb. I don't even know what the point of this thing was. If you, if you can tell me, Comment down below if you can tell me what a really good use of the time bomb is, because I was just not feeling it. All right. My personal favorite Zonai device. I'm going to put it below the steering stick still, because I feel like that really is the best. But this looks like a weird face. That's kind of funny. Anyway, Rocket will always, forever be my favorite Zonai device. The first time I attached that to my shield, I freaked out. It's so fun. Yes, I know it doesn't last for long enough. If this thing lasted... For the amount of battery you had, this would probably actually be the best on device in the game, S++. But it's not that way, unfortunately. But it is still very, very good. I think it's better. I will forever think it's better than the spring for getting height. It's great for pushing forward, pushing upward. The rocket has so many awesome effects. Or throwing a weapon. You can give weapons long throw. I don't know why you would be trying to do that. But hey, maybe. Maybe there's a point of that. Um, right before a weapon breaks, maybe you want to throw it at long distance. I don't know. I don't see the point. But, like, there are so many cool things you can do with the rocket. It's so fun. I love it. So, suck it. If you don't like the rocket, that's your problem. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Have a fantastic day. Please be sure to check out some other Tears of Kingdom videos that I have already posted or in the future. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I don't have that many people. I have a lot of returning viewers, surprisingly, but most of them aren't subscribed. So if you could help me out, I could be doing this more. I could make this a more full-time thing. So thank you guys all for watching, and have a great day. Peace out, Zelda fans.